My name is Roland Kanak. I'm uh, from Montage Technology. We've had some uh, amazing presentations this morning, and my presentation is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk about Montage, the company, and who we are and what we provide. Uh, we're a silicon provider. And I'm going to go through a little bit of the company background and then talk to you about our products and how we fit into the CXL ecosystem. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go through a brief overview of who we are. Montage Semiconductor, Montage Technology is based in Shanghai. We have about 500 employees. We have uh, sites in San Jose, Atlanta, and Austin here in the U.S., as well as Shanghai, Korea. We were founded uh, in 2004, and we're a silicon IC provider, mainly participating in the data center, enterprise, high-performance computing um, markets. Here's a picture of some of our products. Primarily, we've been in, uh, producing products in the memory interface. This would be your standard DDR DIMMs. Uh, we provide data, uh, data buffer products, um, clocking products, PCI retimers. And then, as we're all here today, we're going to talk about the CXL Memory Expander. We've all seen this chart from the various presentations this morning that uh, there's more and more servers that are being sold. Each one of these servers need more and more memory, and the number of cores are going up, and the amount of memory per core that is required is also a big challenge. So this is how the CXL Memory Expander product family is going to address this market. Montage is an ecosystem partner, so we uh, interface with the SOC manufacturers at the top of the chart there. Our primary customers are the module manufacturers, so we're the component IC provider, and we would sell our products to the component uh, memory module manufacturers, and then we also work with all of the server OEMs and uh, cloud service providers. So we're a complete uh, ecosystem provider. Let's delve into the products, and then this will become uh, more interesting with regards to the CXL. So as a background, I want to bring you up to speed on what Montage traditionally does. This is a picture of a standard DIMM. This happens to be a DDR5 LR DIMM. In the red boxes are the products that we provide. Essentially, Montage products are in between the SOC and the memory. So all of the data and the control uh, and addressing has to go through all our products. In the standard DDR4, DDR5 DIMMs, there are a lot of products that are on the DIMMs themselves. We have data buffers, which control the data movement between the SOC and the memory. We have the register clock driver which is controlling the command addresses from the host controller as well as the clocks to all of the DRAM devices. And then on the backside of a typical DIMM, we have a PMIC, Power Management IC. Power is very big in uh, power management in the servers. There are a lot of these DIMMs in there, so managing the power effectively is critical. And then there is what we call an SPD hub. This is a serial presence device. Uh, essentially, this is uh, sideband communication device, but it contains a small EEPROM that has statistics and information about what type of DIM this is. And then on the bottom picture, we have temperature sensors. Temperature is critical to understand how hot the DIM is running. Uh, airflow management, noise management is, uh, is critical for a, a large data center as these DIMs are tightly packed. This is our traditional business that uh, lends itself into the next product family, which is our CXL memory expander controller. In my hand here, I'm actually holding uh, the real physical device. This is a PCI Express Gen 5 by 8 CXL memory controller underneath the heat sink here with two standard uh, DDR5 RDIMs that are placed in the socket. This is the industry's first CXL memory expander controller. It's based on CXL 1.1 and 2.0 compliant. 
This particular card that I'm holding in my hand here is a PCI Express add-in card, as we call it, so it fits in a standard PCI Express slot. This one is uh, a by 8 PCIe Gen 5. We can also put this on EDSFF modules. There's a picture down at the bottom uh, of the slide. Upstairs in the uh, demo room, uh, underneath uh, in the Memberge demo, there are actually four of these cards running in a real server. So you can take a look at that upstairs. This particular memory expander controller will work with standard DIMMs, so I'm socketing two DIMMs on this particular card, or it will work with direct attached soldered down DRAM memory. It works with both DDR4 and DDR5 technology, so there is a single channel of DDR4, which handles two DIMMs per channel, or it works with a single physical channel for DDR5, but that's two sub-channels of 40 bits each on uh, the DDR5. Again, it can address up to four ranks of memory. So the DDR4 runs up to 3200, and the DDR5 will run up to 6400. Standard uh, JEDEC compliant DDR4 and DDR5 memory. There is a rich uh, RAS features, uh, reliability and scalability, which uh, allows uh, also a high bandwidth utilization and efficiency and a low, prow uh, low power mode of operation. Currently our module partners, Samsung, SK Hynix, uh, I'll, I'll show you that in a, in a foil coming up. This is uh, the traditional roadmap from Montage Technology. We have been participants in every DRAM memory technology since 2004, so that starts down at the bottom left-hand corner with DDR2, FVDIM, fully buffered DIM in DDR2 was a very similar product. It was high-speed serial 30s on the front side and a DDR2 interface on the back side. The difference between DDR2, FVDIM, and today's CXL is FVDIM was a pure slave to the host controller. There was no memory controller inside that device but all of the piece parts were there in that product to go from the high-speed serial side to the DDR side. As we progress through the JETIC uh, DDR technologies, moving up from DDR3 to DDR4, those became purely direct attached to the SOC, which would be indicative of the DIMMs that I'm showing here in the slots. They would be direct attached to the SOC. Now with the invention of CXL, we can make a memory controller, CXL memory expansion controller, the upper right-hand corner of the slide there, and that works with our standard DDR5 products. Uh, this particular controller also supports our DDR4 technology. And now let's get into a little bit more of the specific details of the CXL memory expander. You've seen these foils uh, from various participants, presenters this morning. We have uh, traditional CPU, SOC, in the white box on the bottom, communicating through CXL, which is PCI Express. This particular product is compliant with 1.1 and 2.0, so that's PCI Express Gen 5 at 32 giga transfers per second. This particular product is a by 8 interface, which is the blue box in the middle. So the montage products are always in between the SOC and the memory, so everything from your applications and operating system is going through our products, so we communicate with the memory. The memory can be an add-in card, which is what I'm holding in my hand here, or it can be in an EDSSFF form factor. Again, those can be seen up in the Memberge uh, demo upstairs. Again, just uh, recapping, this is the industry's first memory expander controller, and uh, it's fully compliant with uh, 1.1 and 2.0 CXL spec. This is a picture of what I'm holding in my hand. Again, some more details about the product. I think I've covered most of this. Here's a couple of pictures from some press releases of the module manufacturers. So this was taken from the uh, public website. So the status of our product is we've been checked out with all the major SOC suppliers. We've also been checked out with all of the major memory suppliers. 
And these modules can be obtained directly from the module supplier. Again, Montage is the silicon IC provider. We do not provide the modules themselves. We provide the silicon IC and the support for that IC. And again, uh, the typical pyramid of memory. We've got our SOC at the top of the chart here with our on-die caches or the in-package HBM. The direct attach layer was our traditional DIM layer that we participate in. And then the, our vision is the CXL memory expansion is one layer below that, which is uh, solving all of the problems that were previously discussed this morning. And I think that's it for my presentation. Thank you very much.